Hi guys, it's Amy. Today I'm coming to you from my pretty messy office. Um, to be honest, I use this more as less storage than an office itself. I just work with my laptop and take it with me everywhere I go. But I've been planning on making this video forever and I was like, oh, I need to clean my office. I need to do this. I need to fix my hair. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to make it if I don't just do it. So here it is. So if you're new here, welcome for the first time. If not, welcome back to my channel. I'm a travel agent, but I'm also a travel blogger. And right here on YouTube, I share tips for travel and travel reviews and all of those sorts of things. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos and also ring the notification bell so that you see when new videos arrive because otherwise YouTube isn't gonna show it to you. Okay, so today we are talking about carry-on luggage and I know you're like this is super boring but as a travel agent this is something that I'm asked about by my clients all the time all the time because people really don't understand it because in the last few years basically what happened is that a few years ago fuel prices went up not like they are now but fuel prices went up and when that happened the airlines started charging extra for all the little things so like checked bags and all these other things, better seats. Airlines started charging for these things that they really hadn't done much of in the past. Now, when the fuel prices went back down, they didn't take those away, but now that they're up again, it, it is what it is. These are here to stay no matter what happens. So, you probably know, if you've ever flown on a budget carrier, you probably know that it's super limited, but even with a typical airline like American Airlines or Delta or United, you're still not gonna get a carry-on for free unless you're flying Southwest, but this is kind of for other airlines, not, not really including Southwest. So, what can you do to maximize your free luggage that's basically what this video is about what the airlines don't want you to know about carry-on bags so let me show you something really quick because when i see a lot of people walking on the plane they have a small bag like a purse or maybe a laptop bag now if you're fine with just paying to check all your bags that's fine but here's the other thing about that here's the other thing luggage is getting lost really badly right now because there are so many flight cancellations and changes and you want to put as much in your carry-on even if you do check bags you want to have as much that you might need in your carry-on because for example right now I have clients who are traveling and they didn't have bags for like three days or four days so just know that that happens and it's not unusual especially right now in the days of all these canceled and rescheduled and delayed flights so Here's how you maximize your bags. You don't want to have something like, <laughs> like this little hip bag, fanny pack. You don't, most airlines consider this to be apparel. I'm not saying that you can have this as extra luggage. I'm just saying you probably can. I mean, if you get on an airline and they say, hey, that's an extra bag, don't blame me. But most airlines, if you have, if you're wearing it, they count it as clothing. So that's a little pro tip, a little travel pro tip. You can sometimes carry an extra bag as long as it's on your person. I mean, at least it'll fit a few things, right? Okay, but if you're flying with a typical airline, here's what your carry-on item can and definitely should look like. Okay, so here, first of all, I have this bag. Now, let me just tell you, this is from Amazon and it's like $40. I'm gonna link everything in the description. This is from Amazon, it's like 40 bucks. The bottom is a lot bigger than it looks. It has a shoe compartment in it. This is a personal item. A purse is not a personal item. It can be, it shouldn't be if you're trying to maximize your luggage. This is a personal item. I've carried this on Spirit Airlines. I've carried this on Allegiant Airlines. It fits in the personal item container, which is free for both, okay? This, and this is $40, and it's actually a pretty good bag. Another alternative would be a backpack. My husband tends to carry a normal backpack, as do my kids. This is actually a photography backpack. Um, it's super worn, I've used it forever, but I like it because it has um, a really soft laptop compartment in it, so that's nice, like I said, it's super worn. But any backpack will do. This is one that I carry often on all airlines. I mean, this, <laughs> this bag has been on probably all of the major airlines and the budget airlines like Frontier, Allegiant, Spirit, American, United, Delta, Hawaiian. This bag has been on all of them, okay? And this is a personal item, not your carry-on bag. And I know you're like, Amy, shut up. No, seriously, 
personal item. Okay, all right, so this or this can be a personal item. Don't waste your space on something little like this or on a little purse or a tiny backpack or something like that. Don't do it. Okay. Now let's talk about your actual carry-on. So if you're flying on a budget airline, you're not going to get a carry-on for free. However, if you pay for one, this is something you could use. Or if you're flying on a major airline like Delta, American United, as long as you don't have a basic economy seat, you will have a carry-on included for free. And this is generally the size that all of these airlines consider for a carry-on. This is a pretty roomy suitcase. Sorry, it's heavy. It's still packed from my last Cancun trip, but I'm going to Cancun next week, so why not just leave it, you know? Okay, so, and I get a lot of compliments on this bag, by the way, from other Star Wars fans. Um, it's from Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. I'll link it in the comments below. It's American Tourist or, or something. Anyway, so you can have a bag like this and a carry-on like this for free. I realize that not everybody going on a week trip can pack, or even a weekend, can pack in a bag like this and this. I can. I can do a long weekend in this. I've done a week in this. I realize not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody wants to do laundry, et cetera, et cetera. If you can't pack in this for a week and you still need to check a bag, that's fine. But you can for sure get everything that you would absolutely need, such as clothing, toiletries, on and on at least travel size things in these bags. That way, if your luggage is lost, you are not naked and have no shampoo or whatever for however many days until your luggage is hopefully found. All right, so I just wanna show you, a lot of people don't realize this is a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna make a video probably next week about how I pack for Cancun. I know I said I left this pack for Cancun, but I'm actually not taking this to Cancun. I'm only going for three days. I'm gonna take, take only this bag, and I'm gonna show you how I pack for Cancun in this bag, so make sure to subscribe. Make sure to be subscribed so that you don't miss that. That's gonna come out probably around a week or less from when this video comes out. So, I just want you guys to understand, now all of the airlines do have websites where you can look at their bag dimensions. And when you go to buy bags online, it will show you the dimensions. So you can know if you're flying on American and you go and you look at a bag like this, and by the way, they don't just have Star Wars bags, you look at a bag like this, you can see that that fits the dimensions for the carry-on for American. Now, even if you're gonna check bags, like I said, there is a weight limit on this bag, so put some of that stuff into these free bags that you have you might as well, okay? I just realized I filmed this whole thing without using my microphone, so I'm sorry. <laughs> the audio quality is probably gonna be really bad. That's okay, I'll use it next time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful in some way. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Leave me any questions you might have in the comments. I know this is super tricky. Like I said, I get a lot of emails about it, but always check the website for whatever airline you're flying for the dimensions. And then when you're going to look for bags or if you have bags, you can measure them and see what's gonna fit. I promise you, you can take a whole lot more for free than what the airlines want you to believe, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.